Let's get to uh, the Prime Minister and obviously putting some more meat on the bone when it comes to The Voice, the actual question that we talked about uh, on Friday. But I want to call out a little bit of politics here. Anthony Albanese, surprise, surprise, is remaining each way Albo on this particular issue, where in order to try to reach out beyond the people who already want to vote yes or the people who already wanted this government to be a success at the federal or now state level or bar Tasmania, was saying this about The Voice. From time to time I've been asked by people in this room what my view is on various things. And I've said this isn't about me. I wanted to hear from Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people themselves the process of getting to this point isn't top down, it's bottom up from the people here. It's not about me, it's not about me. Well, here he was at a party political function last night where it was very much about him and Team Red. I pay my respects to their elders, past, present and emerging, and recommit the government that I'm proud to lead for supporting the recognition of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people in our national birth certificate, our constitution. And this is definitely going to be bipartisan, apart from the bit where you attack Peter Dutton every day. No matter how much detail is put out, Peter Dutton will say, oh, what about more detail? That's the game that's being played here. And he should uh, make a decision of where he stands on this issue. But it's definitely bipartisan. It's certainly not all about me. As for what uh, was also happening today, in South Australia, they passed their own version of The Voice. Extraordinary that they did so on a Sunday, but they did so for maximum optics and the greatest number of people to be there in the mall to be able to be cheering them on and a great tick in history. But what will be interesting here is that you now have this passed in law and we'll get to see a working version of it before the referendum. I would imagine that the hope of Anthony Albanese is that this will be the most modest version right up until the day everyone votes because the second something's crazy out of this, look what's going to happen. It'll be an interesting fight in the next little while.